Hey, what's up everybody? Today I was about to start a another project, um, so I figured I'd record it and maybe it'll turn into something useful. I don't even know right now. Maybe you'll never even see this uh, footage whatsoever. Who knows? Um, but the idea today is that I'm going to upgrade my Prusa i3 Mark III plus multi-material unit 2 to the Prusa i3 Mark III S. Uh, multi-material unit to S. So yes, we're adding S today. And whether the S stands for super or shite or something or stuff, I don't know what it really actually stands for. Um, I do know I had to, oh, cat hair. I, uh, in preparation, I printed out all the little extra parts I'm gonna need. There's actually one other part here that I didn't print out yet, but it's just part of the spool holder thing or the take up reel holder, and I'll do it some other time. Uh, all these were printed on. A printer does a really fantastic job, which is my Creality CR7. <laughs> yeah, I didn't use the uh, Mark III, ironically. Uh, but anyway, it's all printed in PETG plastic by eSun. I could have printed it in Prusa Mint, but I started printing in eSun before I received my kits with the PETG that they supply. Speaking of which, you might be interested in what comes with the kit. So I'm going to uh, turn this over to my former self, or actually previous footage, B-roll footage that I recorded, and then I'll voice over it. Um, and uh, show you what's what inside the kits. For those of you who are interested, I'm gonna show you the differences between the Mark III S upgrade kit and the MMU II S upgrade kit. Uh, because of my impatience in waiting for my free voucher for the MMU II S upgrade, I ended up ordering the Mark III S upgrade kit because uh, it actually, the MMU II S upgrade kit is nothing but the Mark III S upgrade kit with some slightly different 3D printed plastic parts which move the filament sensor to a different location. Plus it also includes the, uh, the filament take up reel detangler thing for the MMU2. Uh, so with that said, let's take a look at the, the two kits and we'll see the differences. Starting with the Mark III S upgrade kit, you will get the new filament sensor plus the cable that goes with it, a couple of new extruder tubes, and some tie wraps. Also in the kit will be a bag with plentiful amounts of spare hardware. You'll also get a bag containing the E-axis or extruder hardware. You'll get a spool of a small spool of Prusa PETG to print your plastic parts. You'll get a piece of paper with some helpful links on it and a piece of paper with printing instructions for the plastic parts. You'll also get a cloth um, cable wrap in case you don't already have it on your printer. Now to the MMU2S upgrade kit, you'll get the same filament sensor um, extruder tubes and nylon wire ties, but the, for some reason the cable came separately in the kit. You also get the same bag of spare extruder hardware along with the bag of extruder hardware for the E-axis. Now in addition, you're going to get hardware for the buffer assembly that they're including with the kit along with some pre-printed parts in ABS for things like the print cooling fan. You'll get the same spool of Prusa PETG along with a couple of flat pieces for the buffer assembly. And you'll get the same two pieces of paper as before, but in addition to that, you will also get the MMU2S Upgrade 3D Printing Handbook. 
to help you out along the way. Now that we've gone through the contents of both kits, I'm anxious to start this upgrade, so let's get going. Round two, fight! As you can see, I got it back together again. Uh, I hope you like the time lapse. That odd music was uh, kind of a nod to Sexy Cyborg. Uh, she uses that sometimes in her time lapses. I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, if you don't know who she is, I would look her up. Um, I'll leave a link to her in the description. She's like a geek goddess, so I, uh, I recommend you check out her videos. Uh, at any rate, the uh, upgrade to this went pretty well, uh, but anybody who's built this before, you know, built their uh, Mark III from a kit, knows that the extruder assembly is the most tedious, annoying, fiddly part of the whole build. And, uh, you know, this is no ex exception. Even though they redesigned it, it's, you know, it takes time. Uh, especially you got to deal with, you know, you have to deal with all the wiring and it's, it's not for the faint of heart. So if you're not really mechanically inclined, I would have somebody else do the upgrade for you because it's 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 a thing. Um, what makes it a little more annoying is they don't Prusa doesn't right now at least they don't actually have uh, upgrade instructions to take you from a MMU2 to MMU2S. Uh, you actually have to follow the instructions for uh, the upgrade instructions for an a Mark III-S or Mark III to the MMU2S, which sounds like the same thing, but it's, it actually includes all the other stuff like building the MMU2 and, and doing the wiring for that and stuff like that. So you, when you follow the instructions, it's kind of like a choose your own adventure game where you have to maybe skip some of the sections. But uh, overall, it wasn't too bad, although at one point they did kind of leave me hanging with all my wires like disconnected here. And uh, they told me to go to the next to go to the sections for the uh, electronics, which involved like wiring up maybe the electronics for this, but not the printer. So I had to go back to previous chapters and look at the wiring diagram. It wasn't a big deal, you know, but just keep that in mind that it's not, right now it's just not a perfect straightforward roadmap for you to follow. Um, as you can see, it's changing filament well now um, the if you're interested like the upgrade doesn't actually involve upgrading anything with the MMU2 which is 
kind of weird. So this is still stock, um, other than this has new firmware and the printer has new firmware. So what changes is the extruder. So you do the Mark III to Mark III S upgrade, and then if you're using an MMU2, you have a little bit of different configuration where it adds this chimney, it moves the sensor up top here. And uh, what this does is the, um, you know how you have the, the door to the extruder that has the, um, the Bontec gear on it, right? And that swivels. Um, and it's held by a spring down here, right? So what happens is um, when this loads, the, um, the filament goes between the gears and that door pop, you know, pops out a little bit. And there's a lever sticking out at the top of it now, a long lever that actually tilts when that door pops out. And it then, it then um, covers up the beam on the optical sensor, which lets the printer know that the filament has loaded properly into the extruder, uh, which is great. So that's actually the main upgrade or benefit of doing this upgrade is because now the printer knows when this filament is loaded properly because formerly one of the main problems with the MMU2 was that you'd get these filament strands you know from uh, stringing from the retractions that would build up in the tube in the extruder and sometimes it would pack up you know up top here in the extruder when filament would go to load it wouldn't so, sometimes wouldn't always load into the Bontech gears, but the printer would think it did load. It would continue to print, but it would only be printing air. You'd get a skipped layer for that color. It would then retract that color, put in a new color, and usually that cleared the blockage, but the damage had already been done, and you'd have a skipped layer on one of your colors, or sometimes it would continue to be clogged and the whole print would fail. So. The upgrade doesn't fix any of the fundamental problems with the stringing or anything that you may have, but it does now detect the jams that happen because of that stringing. And sometimes it's able to recover from that itself by pulling the uh, filament out and back in a few times. Uh, if it has trouble and it can't recover, then it will now pause and wait for user intervention and then you can clear out the problem and continue. And actually that happened while I was filming up close, so um, in a minute I'll show you that footage. Actually, I'll just put it in here. Check it out. This is what happens when uh, you have an error.
Okay, so as you can see, it wasn't too hard to recover from that error, right? Um, you know, I just disconnected the this tube, cut off the end that I nicely pulled out a little bit of filament because a lot of times what happens is this your filament will get stripped out back here. So I usually pull out a little bit to get past that stripped off point, cut it clean, reconnect it, and then um, hit the third button. Maybe a few times it'll retract until the uh, this sensor picks it up and it knows its position again, and then the printer will continue. So it's not, it's not too bad. And so far that's only happened once, and we're at about 11%, you know, so. I still have 29 hours to go though, so I'm sure there'll be further errors down the line. But anyway, I'm, much, I'm, I'm very happy with this so far, and I'm, I'm going to wrap this up now because I've rambled on long enough. But as you can see, it is printing, and it is doing the color changes just fine. And uh, so far, I'm very happy with it. So I, my hat's off to Prusa for this upgrade and the fact that they sent this out for free to anybody who had an MMU2. Of course, uh, they didn't send it out to me. I didn't take it personally, though. It was just, I think, because I was one of the early, early, um, you know, orders of the system. And I think at that time, I actually had the original MMU on order, and then they had upgrade. It took so long for them to ship that they had upgraded it to the MMU2. So I think when they went back in their files, they didn't see my order as being an MMU2 order, but I contacted them and, you know, after a couple months of waiting or whatever, the usual for, for Prusa, I did finally receive the upgrade kit. Um, so I got it for free, uh, which actually included the Mark III to Mark III S upgrade along with it, uh, which is perfect. It's great. Um, I didn't put together the spool slack thingamajiggers. Um, I use my LAC table, it's fine. Um, the way they have it set up, you have to have your spools off to the side somewhere, which is kind of not really going to work for me. Um, anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Uh, I'll get back to you in another video once I've run some filament through this and tried it with different types of materials and everything, and I'll let you know how well it works. But so far, I'm definitely pleased with it, and I think it's, um, it's worth upgrading for sure. So that's it for now, and thanks again for watching. Uh, see you again in another video. Cheers. This video brought to you by BrianKramerBooks.com. BrianKramerBooks.com for all your humorous science fiction needs.